been quite a week. Our top story continues. Sepp Blatter has won FIFA's presidential election in Zurich. The incumbent defeated his only remaining challenger, Prince Ali. Now, Blatter has promised change despite calls for his resignation amid the worst corruption scandal that's ever hit FIFA. Guy Henderson reports from the Swiss capital. The protests were over another vote, but the motion to suspend Israel was at the last minute withdrawn at the 65th FIFA Congress. One controversy was it seemed enough. In the presidential ballot, incumbent Seb Blatter's only challenger, Prince Ali bin Al Hussein, gained just enough votes to force a runoff. But then he withdrew. His chances were next to none. And I want to thank in particular all of the, those of you who were brave enough uh, to support me. Um, but having said that, I'll be with, uh, with, withdrawing from the race. Um, so thank you all very much, and I wish you the best of luck for the future. Thank you. The victor could hardly contain his relief. Blatter's 17 years at the top of world football may become 21. Thank you so much that you are here. Uh, the interest for following this wonderful day today, it was a big congress, and we have the same president. I'm a happy man. Thank you. But it wasn't the foregone conclusion many had expected when the week began. The moment Swiss police swooped on the Bauer du Lac Hotel on Wednesday, world football's governing body was thrown into crisis. In the United States and Switzerland, 14 executives were arrested on corruption charges, among them senior FIFA officials. Pressure to postpone was overruled, calls for Blatter's resignation ignored leaving the head of European football, his old friend Michel Platini, to call for a mutiny. When it comes to the election of the president, a very, very big majority of European national associations will vote for Prince Ali. But in the moments before the ballot, the man who sold himself as the humble servant was outdone by a call for continuity. What football needs right now is a strong leader, an experienced leader. A leader that knows all the implications, and we need to work on the pitch. Discipline, fair play, and respect. Reactions to this dramatic climax are mixed. The head of Dutch football, himself a candidate until a week ago, expressed disappointment as he left. I cannot understand that people uh, want to keep, continue like this. As we could hear Mr. Blatter say, we'll, I will bring the, 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 the ship in, 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 in the harbour or something like that. But he said exactly the same four years ago and it is even worse. So how can I believe that? So let's wait and see till we, uh, we sit together with all the countries and then we come to solution. More than a suggestion that there's much work to be done and urgently. Platter faces some huge challenges in his fifth term, a corruption scandal which threatens to drag on for months, if not years. And then he's got to persuade those who spoke out against him at this Congress to stay on board. Now, FIFA is divided, it's damaged. And while the majority of delegates here in the end decided that the incumbent could still be part of the solution, there are plenty here as well who see him as part of the problem. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Zurich.